The Houston Texans took an already impressive offense and added one of the best wide receivers in football as Stephen A. declared the Texans might be the best team in the great state of Texas now for the first time stealing the Dallas Cowboys shine. Okay, Club Shay Shay, tell me this. Where does Houston rank in the AFC with Diggs now joining C.J. Stroud? Well, I think they're – Clearly behind Kansas City and Baltimore, in my estimation, um, the uncertainty with Houston leads me. I, I would say, I would say probably fourth or fifth. I'm not so sure. I'm putting them in front of Miami. I'm not putting what? them in front of. No, I'm not. Because here's the thing, Stephen A. If you take Miami and bring them to Houston, you know you're putting them in a controlled environment, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. And you know what happens when you put – okay. So, I'm going to say – I'm going to say I think they're behind Buffalo. I still I, I still believe in Josh Allen. Let's see what they do in the draft. On, I would man. say I would say fourth or fifth. Come fourth on, fifth. Shannon. Come, uh, Shannon. Th- 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 come on, Shannon. Josh Allen, you lost Gabe Davis and Stephon Diggs. Right. And if Stephon you, Diggs. And they're going to have some changeover on the defensive side of the ball because of injuries and stuff as well. Come on, Shannon. You can't, you can't put Buffalo above Houston. Not right but, now. But, but, if Josh Allen is what many believe him to be. Has he been? Supposed, he, I think he's been good. In big moments, he hasn't been what he needs to be. See, I, I know what you say. Look, I love Nico Collins. I love Tank Dale. I love C.J. Stroud and what yeah. he was able to do. I love that, but let's. And by hey, the way, remember they got mixing now. Yes, but a lot of teams have had a good one season. Let's see if they can replicate that. Let's see if they can put because but, guess what? Guess what we got now before them, Stephen A. Okay, something that you didn't have for them last year. Expectation. Oh, uh, stop it! Oh, stop it! Let me tell you why. Let me get on you about this. Right, now. I can't believe you're saying this stuff. This stuff is blasphemous right now. How's this coming out your mouth? Because here's why, Shannon. Here's why. I get Baltimore, Kansas City. Kansas City reigning defending champions. We all know two times. We know what they bring to the table, okay? You look at Baltimore. John Lamar Jackson got to the AFC Championship game. We know what this brother can bring, all right? And obviously, Munkin being there as your offensive coordinator, the stability that Harbaugh brings, their defense, a bunch of rough riders. We get that part, right? Miami and Buffalo have given us no reason to be sold on them. With the personnel they had in place, they couldn't get over the hump in Buffalo. Miami, don't get me started once you get them away from near South Beach, or as you would say, a controlled environment. A controlled <laughs> environment on South Beach. Okay, so if you talk about head-to-head matchup, you know, you, 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 got, you, you got the cheater in Houston. I understand that. I ain't no answer for that, brother. I do understand that. But I'm saying right. you got to play against a whole bunch of other people. And right. what has Miami given us to believe? in them when they get away from a controlled environment or, dare I say, elite weather near South Beach. I'm sorry. So, I got Houston at three. I got Houston at number three. three. I, I, would, th- I would probably put, like I said, if you put them at four or five, if you put them at four, I'm not disappointed. I still believe, uh, uh, because here's the thing, Stephen A., you telling me you have the level of expectations last year for the Texans that you not. have for them this year? No, no, definitely more this year. But that's because I believe in C.J. Stroud. Like you said, you believe in Josh Allen. Right. So now you didn't have expectations. They surprised you. Guess what happens when someone does something and now you have those expectations? You expect more from said person. Okay. Okay. So I I expect more. And so, hey, here's why I got Josh Allen. I mean, can he disappoint me by (laughs) going? All I'm saying is this. Listen, Miami and Buffalo got expectations. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, but okay. I think you think uh, uh, I think you think Houston has more expectations than both of those teams now. I just think they'll with be the better addition than both of Stephon Diggs. I think okay. they'll be better than both of them. Mm. 